everyone and welcome. It's Keeper MC and we continue our exploration on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, so v2t.org. In the previous episodes, of course, we were mining and in the upcoming episodes we are going to be mining. That's right. So I did some slight reorganization in my inventory, crafted some blocks to reduce the space taken by the things and also built this quite a huge, let's say, roof. Uh, to eliminate multiple ways to go within the same cave so it will be easier for us to navigate and less double checks will need it to be done and yeah with that being said we continue so there's still lots of ways to go but slowly we're getting them things mined out and leaving so eventually we will hopefully find <laughs> let's say a moment reach the moment where there is nothing left to be like uh, discovered in these caves and we'll just leave to the surface because yeah it's already being a lot of a time spent in the caves and there is still a lot in front of us It's good to feel some progress already because some of the sections are emptied and could be forgotten for example this one we just finished it so no need to go back to it at any moment of a time given perfect well maybe just one extra block to be as a stairs ladders let's say Let's continue. Maybe it would not be a bad idea to actually uh, have a diamond pickaxe, maybe with some basic enchantments already, but yeah, unfortunately, all of our diamonds are still locked in the ender chest, and I don't want to risk it and try to get them, because of course it would require us to get the blaze rods, which could let us to die once again. Nobody wants that. Well, at least I don't want to. I think I already died like five times in the nether, even if not more, so... <sighs> Maybe let's just stop doing that. Yeah, but the <laughs> the one fail with the ender pearl was just the best ever. I mean, it's just great. It's not because you're like jumping too far or maybe like I don't know anything else. You just accidentally launched the Ender Pearl and fell down due to the stress. Just great. Simply clever. Was it Hyundai or Toyota? Alright, so we also have this small way up in here. And uh, well, let's maybe just tower ourselves up. Um, yeah, and our inventory is just getting full so quickly. But that's okay. For now, nothing is getting left on the ground, so we can still. Oh, come on. Never mind, it's just me being me, of course. Alright, some other section. So, of course, first things first, marking the exit, because that's something I can easily miss to notice. And then we have two ways. Let's go here. First, maybe that's a dead end, that would be lovely. Could be that the previously heard Enderman and the Skeleton were somewhere here. 
that's quite close to those uh, to that location so if there was a spawner it could be that we will make make it and we'll f ah, stop glitching that we will find it but let's see so anything down here some iron and I see some water and it seems to be at that end as well that's nice of course we hear some lava boiling maybe not <laughs> but I think I heard some so it could be that there is some like other tunnels nearby especially we filled with the lava but despite the fact they can contain lots of diamonds and some other good things we are not uh, mining it straight well at last for now because there is no such need we explore it in the natural way which is a bit slower but it's not about how fast do you play but about the satisfaction you are getting and I get much more when I play it like real without, without using the hacks, cheats or like kind I don't know not a hot fixes but how are they called uh, life hacks or something <laughs> it pays off I mean we still got lots of diamonds still got lots of other resources and for now we are already pretty decent amount away from the spawn so as you can probably already notice it I'm starting to mention the spawn region less and less so we can totally settle down and spend some time in the village <coughs> So but first we need to take them all goodies out of these caves. Because yeah, lots of trades to be done. New gear to be crafted and many many other things to be done. And of course yeah, for now I'm also not uh, willing to stay like inside the village uh, too long because we are not having lots of resources and uh, of course I don't want to allow villagers to die because of the zombies and like uh, skeletons so for now I'm <coughs> focusing on mining things out and then we are when we will be back I will just instantly start uh, working on uh, building a fence around the village uh, putting them torches around and then of course some some other things more for a comfortable life not just a defense so yeah we're having a big plans bigger than these caves are so. hey Scally I can hear you will you shoot me in the back Are you a good man? Uh, was it shovel? Yes. Okay, probably he. Hey, Oskali. There's actually two of them. Bingo. You only get one shot. And you will get a Oh, that's a proper lag. Or ah no, sorry. It's a proper full inventory. Nice. Well, it's all nice, cool and dandy up until the moment 
we have reached the limits of our inventory. And don't ask questions what am I, am I doing. <laughs> so, we need to think what to do with all them things, because yeah, we need to take them bones, and we also need to take a spare space for them arrows in case if we'll get them. Uh, we'll probably get them eventually, so yeah. start with crafting some coal blocks and continue yeah and it seems that there was not a spawner but just two skeletons appeared some versions of Minecraft, probably the newer ones, or maybe already in 1.12, there is actually um, a chance that a, I was not sure what this villager profession was called, but the, one, the dude, like the one dude who is selling the maps, uh, that they can actually eventually give you the map uh, for this ocean, like monument, and it would be actually cool if, for example, the same uh, way they could actually give you the maps to find the spawners. So that, for example, they say, oh my gosh, there is a zombies out there all around, so I created this map. Could you please take care of it or something like that? Some sort of a quests eventually, because that would be pretty cool. Because if you are playing vanilla sometimes, yeah, finding a spawner is just a huge luck, because in a nat natural way, you are not always encountering them in the caves. And of course you are not going to dig any um, like holes down as long as you hear the monster, so it's also not the cool way to play the game. So yeah. And I wonder why... And of course, as long as I said it, we started to get some hunger, because I wondered why for the last like five or so minutes we were not taking any hunger. It started, so we can actually empty one cell of our inventory in that way. That's cool. And this section of the cave seems to be cleared out. So we can go away from it and lock it. I think we, yeah, that was the coal part. So taking away this, taking some cobblestone going a little bit lower. Um, well, that's fine, I guess. And then just locking it all away. So that's done. That's nice. to go. Well, maybe not that many in the upper levels, but I'm just looking for those resources to make a decision if we are going to climb up or we can skip. And of course I barely can see anything, so... <laughs> yeah. But I think this was the way back, because that was the section I blocked, and I'm sorry, but it looks terrifying, so I will just mine out some cobblestone and we'll replace it with these two blocks. Okay, there is a coal, some more coal, and maybe from that level we will actually see it better if there is anything else uh, valuable. So I think we can actually proceed with the second level, and of course we'll also go to this uh, section out there. Yeah, and then we have this huge part and then some other huge parts. <laughs> These caves will for sure make us tired of them caves. But we will 
get super rich. Unless I will just die somewhere in lava. Hell yeah, we see some torches over there, so that's already one way less. So we can explore it and close. That's cool. So that's a big part of the cave, could be actually the first or the second one, so they're almost all linked together. That's pretty cool, so let's just turn off the water, explore it till the end and close. Well, hopefully there is an end, I mean, of this section. And of course it's getting just bigger and bigger with every step we make. But again, ending up in the cave we were previously exploring. So yeah, it could be that we might use two stacks approximately of cobblestone to just log the whole thing away. Which is fine by me because it will free up some in space in our inventory. So I'm totally up for doing that. Because, yeah, if we see torches, it means that we will eventually come back to this place, because it's not explored in full yet. So, we can just... Spend some... torches around so it's not that dark and maybe the, the less monsters will spawn around but still closing the whole thing down oops I think I missed a block right so probably need to here to put maybe here one extra as well yep perfect feels great and then finish as you can see we are running out of the cobblestone so it means that we are actually freeing up some inventory space that's really nice because otherwise we need to make a, them stops like every um, a few minutes to reorganize the inventory and it's of course getting super annoying and I also wanted to put some cobblestone right here because it will just look a little bit better and the torch all right so but still taking it and yeah I think in this case the gravel looks alright so probably nothing is hidden behind it because the shape of this cave looks normal so it was not falling down and blocking some ways even if so we pretend we do not see it because we still have too many ways to go down in these caves. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. And it 
only gets better. Kind. Okay, nothing out in there. Nothing here as well. And yeah, so this section goes back to them caves, so we can also lock it all away. Because again, we will make sure to explore it till the end anyways. But we will minimize the unnecessarily attempts to explore. So, where are we going? No, we were going from this side, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we just we went we went up in here. And basically we need to consider if we are exploring it further. I mean this section or we will get back to it later. I think we will get back to it later because it was one of those previous mines we uh entered, so we can not we I mean, we may not focus on them at the moment, but suddenly we are too low on cobblestone, so we actually need to mine some uh, to be able to lock this way. Okay, so let's do it. Alright, this is done. So took it a short moment off camera to uh, mine the coal, uh, the cobblestone I mean, and then just block it away. So then we continue. And I think, yeah, I will mine this coal out, probably I will do some a short break to reorganize the inventory and then we will continue our exploration in the next episode. So, thanks again for watching. I admire your patience. <laughs> and of course, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back in the next episode. So, bye bye everyone. Boom. Last torch.